Greetings from Georgetown, Texas. My name is Ron Tremor, and I started Hope United over seven years ago. In the early years, we were so blessed to be supported by the United Church of Christ. Not only did the Strength in the Church offering help us to pay for my training as a church planner, but it also gave us three grants of $20,000 each over the course of about five years. That $60,000 was critical to our success as it was used mostly to pay my meager salary. And any planner will tell you that sacrifices that they have to make, but that money helped me literally to feed my kids. And if I didn't have that, I would not have been able to keep up the arduous task of starting a new church. Now God has truly blessed our church, and this is our second year of being completely self-sufficient. I'm paid a living wage, and we do much in our community and around the world. In fact, in our financial giving last year, Hope United gave over $14,000 in support of local mission, special offerings, and denominational support. Every time there is a fifth Saturday in a month, we head out into the community to do a service project. We've cleaned up gardens and we've helped with home repairs. And we offer safe space so that people know they are truly welcomed and loved. For when we feel safe enough to be vulnerable, God can work a miracle, a transformation in our lives. I'm mindful of a college student that came through our doors a few years back who I will call Lucy. Now Lucy was from a small Texan town and had been raised in the church, but one that had a more evangelical flair to it. She was a shy girl who didn't make friends easily, but she soon became best friends with a roommate who was also a Christian. Lucy, along with a small group of college kids, formed a Bible study. They were active in going to church, practicing their faith. All seemed great until Lucy started to realize that she was gay. She knew what the Bible said, what her friends would likely say, but she was really struggling because she knew in her heart this is how God had created her. After much struggle, she decided to tell her best friend what she was feeling. And I do wish, I wish I could say that her friend was accepting or even affirming, but she was not. Lucy's friend told her in no uncertain terms that she was going to hell, that she was sinful, and this small circle of friends just totally ostracized Lucy. They kicked her out of the little group, and you can just imagine the effect this had on Lucy. She was broken, despair, worry, rejection, humiliation. I think you can understand that Lucy was feeling quite suicidal at this point in her life. This is how Lucy came to us when she showed up for worship one day. The service was a bit different than what she was used to, and she had a lot of questions and struggles with how I interpreted the Bible, but she stayed. Hope United surrounded her with love and support, drew Lucy out of her shy shell, and through our church, God brought healing to Lucy. It wasn't an easy path, as many can testify, but we gave Lucy the space so that the Lord could work a resurrection on her. And I believe in all my heart that if Hope United had not been in Georgetown, when Lucy came through Southwestern, she would not be alive today. We saved her life. God saved her life through a new church and the United Church of Christ. Give to the Strength in the Church offering and give generously Starting new churches is so important and so needed, if nothing else, but for all the other Lucys that are out there today. Thanks for listening, and thanks for your support.